Welcome to my guide to the set A arithmetic test from CGP. As usual, give yourself 10 minutes to do the test. There are only eight questions in total on this one. Nice and straightforward. And once you finish the test, come back to the video and see if you got the marks. Okay, number one, we have minus 129 plus 900. Uh, really, this is just thrown in there to try and catch you out. This is exactly the same as 900 subtract 129. And obviously that's going to be a lot easier for us to do. So let's do it that way. 900 subtract 129. Let's do 900 minus 130. And then we can add one on at the end to save some time. So 900 minus 100 would be 800. Minus the 30 would be 770. Uh, so we're going to add one more back onto that. So it would be 771, our answer there. Okay, number two, 24.5 subtract 9.36. Uh, for this one, I'm going to do a form of column subtraction. So lay it out like that. Make sure you get your place value in the right location. And then subtract sign right. If we have a gap here. So in this case, because we have a gap, we can put the number zero. We start with this number here. Zero subtract six, we can't do. Uh, so we're going to have to borrow one from this five here. Now we can do 10 subtract 6, which is 4. 4 subtract 3, which is 1. We put our decimal point in. 4 take away 9, we can't do, so we're going to borrow from here. 14 subtract 9 is 5. And 1 subtract nothing is 1. So our answer for this one is 15.14. Number 3, this is an example of a BODMAS question. So if you found that you got this one wrong or you're not sure what BODMAS is, um, I'll put a link to my video done on BODMAS on the screen for you now to have a look at. So following our BODMAS rule, we, we know that multiplication needs to be done before subtraction. Uh, so we'll do this bubble here. 20 times 2 is 40. So our sum is 48 subtract 40, which should be relatively straightforward to do in your head. The answer is 8. Number 4, 1.35 multiplied by 8. What I do with these questions is I do 8 multiplied by this number here, 1. I'll save that answer. And then I will take this decimal. Imagine that it wasn't a decimal. Imagine it was a full number. Multiply that by 8. And I know that that would be turned back into a decimal at the end. And it would just that's just an easier way for me. Obviously, if you have a different way of doing it, as long as you are confident it's going to give you the right answer, that's obviously fine. So 8 times 1 is 8. Now, 8 times 35, in my case, write like that. 8 times 5 is 40, put the 0, carry the 4. 8 times 3 is 24, plus the 4 is 28. So I will have 280 in this case, but because it was a decimal, I know it's going to be 2.80. So I'm going to add 8 and 2.80 together, which would give me 10.80. Eight as my answer. Number five, we have another example of bod mass. We need to remember to do our powers first. So seven squared is the same as seven times seven, which equals 49. Plus the 10 is 59. Number six, 30% of 350. What I always tend to do is find 10%. So to find 10%, we divide by 10. 350 divided by 10 is 35. So that equals 10%. If we want to find 30, we just times this by 3, because 10% times 3 makes 30%. So 35 times by 3, well, 30 times 3 is 90. 5 times 3 is 15. We'll add them together. 90 add 15 is 105. Okay, question 7 is just testing your knowledge of long multiplication. So you should know that we start with this number here, the number furthest on the right. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16, we put the 6, carry the 1. 4 times 3 is 12, plus the 1 is 13, carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So this is 5,364 is 4 times this number here. Now we're moving on to the 20 times this number, so we need to put our placeholder. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2, and then we add these numbers together. 4 add nothing is 4, 6 add 2 is 8, 3 add 8 is 11, put the 1, carry the 1, 5 add 6 is also 11, add the 1 again, it's 12, 
and 102 is 3. So our answer is 32,184. Okay, number eight. For this one, because 13 is going into this number, it's not too far off uh, my 12 times table, which I know. So we can do short division for this rather than long division. If this number was bigger, we may want to use long division because uh, it may make your life a little easier. I'm going to write my 13s down here. I think that's as much as I'll need at the moment, so let's dive right in. We have 13. How many times is 13 going to 4? It's 0. So how many times is 13 going to 40? Well, it goes 1, 2, 3 times with 1 remainder. How many times is 13 going to 15? That's obviously 1. Remainder 2. How many 13s going to 26? We know that's 2, so our answer is 312. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, that really helps me out and I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. And you'll also find a list of all the books that I find helpful for Year 6 Sats in my description. Thanks very much and I will see you in the next video.